here it is important that the, which patient can go home early. So if they're very young, features typical of primary headache, so you're 100% sure it is a cluster headache or a tension headache, no abnormal neurological finding. In these cases, when you are just pinning them down to, oh, this is this, it is better to do some neurological examination. No concerning change in usual headache pattern. This is very important point. Say you know that there is a patient whom you have diagnosed with migraine for last 10 years and they are on medication off and on. Now they come and say that again, my headache, headache has come back, but this is something different from the headache I experienced before. So you have to be very cautious about that. That is something else is happening. And no high risk of comorbid condition, like there is no history of HIV or malignancy, because you know that maybe there is a history of breast cancer in the past or a prostate cancer in the past. Now they are having some cerebral metastasis and causing the problem. And no new concerning clinical or physical examination finding. These are the group of patients and they actually uh, include a huge number of uh, patients whom we see in primary care who can send home safely with some medication, with some assurance and with some follow-up plan. This is very important. If you are seeing a patient with headache, you cannot send them home with well, even, you can send them without an investigation, but you have to tell them according to your uh, judgment that when this patient need to come back again to see you, whether they need to come back in five days or 15 days or one month or three months, it's your discretion, but you have to make a follow-up plan and that you have to write clearly in the paper that these patients need to be seen again.